Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of The Pick 6 presented by Sleep Number. I'm your host, Mike Wobshaw, coming to you from TCO Performance Center in Egan. Phase two of the offseason program is rolling. The rookies are in and we're getting ready for 2018. Thanks for sending in your questions. Let's get to work. Question number one comes from Steve. Are this year's offensive line and defensive line better than last year's? With Cousins, this could be the year to win the Super Bowl. And there's no doubt that being good in the trenches is key to a Super Bowl run. Yes, I do think the Vikings are better in the trenches right now than they were at the end of last season. The addition of Sheldon Richardson along the defensive line is a key reason for that. He's a really good three technique and I can't wait to see what Mike Zimmer is gonna do with him. Looks like we've got pretty good depth despite losing Tom Johnson and Shamar Stefan. The Vikings have some good depth along the defensive line. On the offensive line, we lose starter Joe Berger. That's a bummer, but we got a bunch of young players coming up through the ranks and developing. Plus we used a second round pick on Brian O'Neill. So the Vikings are building up depth along the offensive line as well. Can't wait to watch some of those position battles during training camp. Question number two comes from Dwayne. Which of the undrafted free agent signings do you believe could make the biggest splash and stick with the team? Warning, it's a little premature to be too high or too low on these guys. They've only been with the team for about a couple of weeks, but a couple who stood out. How about Holton Hill? He's a really big defensive back out of the University of Texas, and a lot of people thought he should be drafted. Wide receiver Jake Winicky from South Dakota State. He'll be a fun player to watch this spring and summer. Again, lots of fun position battles and roster battles to watch during training camp. Our third question comes from Chris. Do you see any of the Vikings drafted in Dallas as being contributors on day one when the actual season begins? Yeah, this is a big boy league, but rookies can come in and contribute right away. And I think the Vikings have some candidates from this year's draft class. Of course, we'll start with the first round pick, Mike Hughes. He can play on defense and or special teams. So I give him a big chance to be a contributor right away. Don't sleep on Brian O'Neill. I know all the draft Knicks are telling you he's a two year project. I don't know about that. Brian O'Neill could help the Vikings in 2018. And two more draft picks, Tyler Conklin, the tight end, and the kicker, Daniel Carlson. They're gonna battle hard this offseason to supplant some veterans. Whether or not the veterans can stave them off or not, we'll find out. Our next question comes from Darrell. Do you think the Vikings did enough via the draft and free agency to improve the defense overall? I do think so. Again, we already talked about the addition of Sheldon Richardson, but don't undersell that. He is a very disruptive player and he's going to add a lot of dynamics to this Vikings defense. You bring Terrence Newman back and you draft Mike Hughes, so your nickelback position should be pretty solid with Mac Alexander developing there as well. The Vikings are really good when it comes to depth on defense and most of the starters are coming back. Have Mike Zimmer throw in a wrinkle or two from last year, and I think this defense is set for 2018. The next question comes from Jeff. Do you think CJ Ham will make the team this year? Because John D. Filippo didn't use a fullback with the Eagles. Well, this isn't the Eagles anymore, this is the Vikings, and John D. Filippo didn't make every offensive decision with the Eagles. Doug Peterson, their head coach, was an offensive-minded guy, and Frank Reich was their offensive coordinator. They all made those decisions together. Here in Minnesota, C.J. Ham has a lot of value on offense as a blocker, a runner, and a pass catcher, and then on special teams. So I can't see the future. I don't know that C.J. Ham will make the team, but he's got a really good shot because of his versatility. Our final question comes from Gerald. What can you tell me about the progress of Collins, Danny Isadora, and Rashad Hill? Couple them with our draft choices and veterans, and we should be pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna find out, Gerald. I think the Vikings have the bodies in place to develop to have really good depth along the offensive line. Rashad Hill had seven starts last season. Collins played in five games, including both postseason games, and Danny Isadora played in seven games with one start. So those young players do have a chance to be contributors for the Vikings this season. Again, we're gonna have to watch these position battles in training camp to figure out who are gonna be the starters and who are gonna be the key reserves. That's it for this week's edition of the Pick 6. We'll be back next week, so please continue to submit your questions to the email address at the bottom of the screen. In the meantime, stay tuned to vikings.com. Check out our coverage from last weekend's rookie minicamp, articles, photo galleries, 
and videos, plus some interviews with some of the Vikings draft picks and undrafted free agents. And we are posting a rookie spotlight video where you can go behind the scenes and get to know some of the rookies a little bit better. See you next week.